Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some generative AI tools that you can use to create a set of PowerPoints or slides to be able to give a presentation. So links for each of these are going to be below the video. Let's jump into the first one. So our first one is GPT PPT. Now it doesn't have the catchiest of URLs, but it's okay. I'll link it up down below. Nice and simple. What do you want to make a presentation about? Uh, so the one that I'm interested in is a making a presentation about autism in the workplace. Something we're wanting to develop some courses and material on. If we hit customize, then we can choose a number of slides. We can add background images or not. So we'll say yes to background images and going to make a presentation for us. That was pretty quick and easy. Uh, like most generative AI tools does take a little while for it to churn through. Let's see what we end up with. Okay, so here's our presentation fully created by GPT PPT. And we can see that it's sourcing some images from Unsplash, which is a great free source challenges and barriers yep so some reasonable headings there I don't love the formatting again don't really love the formatting this also we've got headings falling off the edge there the actual content though not too bad so challenges and barriers we've got sensitivity sensitivities executive functioning challenges so content wise it's definitely picked some good stuff so this is definitely giving whoever was presenting this a really good running start on this topic. One risk, I guess, is that just like with ChatGPT, potentially it can hallucinate. If you don't actually know about the topic that you're generating a presentation on, it's going to be much harder to pick out whether it is uh, making stuff up or not. Again, with the formatting, we can see that it has struggled a little bit. It hasn't added animations, so pulling pulling images from Unsplash. Uh, whether if I hadn't had the images, it might have tried to present it differently, I'm not sure. So overall, we're certainly not giving it an A or a B. I think maybe it's a, a C, maybe C plus. Content is good. We can certainly clean up what's here ourselves, but it does take a little bit of work. Okay, let's jump to the next one. So next one's a little bit different. This uh, Slides AI is a add-on for Google Slides. So rather than the PowerPoint, it's going to be happening in Google Slides. We go here and we install Slides AI for Google Slides. Once we've done that, there's a couple of steps. And then when we are in Google Slides, if we go to extensions, then we have Slides AI and we can generate slides. So let's go extensions, generate slides. And so we get the nice little window here. I'm going to give it that same very vague. So we're going to go over to from a topic, but we can see that we've got different presentation types, got number of slides. We can add images, add thank you. Certainly they, they send out when you register, they send out an email with some guides and they really emphasize that the more detail that you give in terms of what you're entering, the better. But we are going to keep it vague just for consistency, comparing across each of the presentations. And it gives us a bit of a basic baseline as well where we would hope that if we give even more information we'll get an even better set of content. We will say the audience is managers and we'll hit create. It's giving us a little bit of guidance here on the other thing that it has which is magic right. We can see how we can replace images so it's pretty handy. So it has brought us back to this page, just saying the slides have been created. However, it could take up to 30 seconds to load. So let's have a look what we've got. Immediately we can see the design has come up a bit nicer than the last one. Pretty generic information here. Of course, we didn't give it much to work with. Definitions, prevalence, importance of inclusive workplaces, all things that make sense. We've got some kind of bit of style of art and images coming up. With this one, much more bullet point oriented which is great if you know the topic. And generally that is where you want to be with your presentations. Whereas the last one was really kind of going for those sentences instead. Kind of interested to see whether it pulled that image from somewhere, but benefits neurodiversity, something that is uh, quite near and dear to my heart and am planning on doing a whole lot more materials, possibly some courses and books and things about it because I think there are a lot of benefits, but modern workplace doesn't necessarily make it all that easy. Not sure what that picture is. Not sure we're 
I think I would be probably changing that picture. Bit of a weird one. Presentation, better than the last one, but still, still not quite right. So overall, I think this did a slightly better job. I think maybe we're giving it a, uh, maybe a B grade. Whereas the other one was kind of giving those quite mucky sentences. This is giving bullet points. So it's kind of taking a much more minimalist approach. Content wise, pretty good as well. Design wise, a little bit better than the last one. So that was our second one. That was the Slides AI, which gets added to your Google Slides. Of course, from Google Slides, we could use it as is, but we could download it as a PowerPoint as well if we needed this to be a PowerPoint instead. Next up, we have one called Tome. We can see that they start off with a whole ton of different templates, looking pretty good, some, some more than others. There was a little bit of logging in involved here. We'll jump over to Create. Down the bottom, we have a whole lot of different options. Uh, UI here is maybe not the best but that's that's okay certainly plenty of things we can be doing we're just going to go create a presentation about and autism in the workplace needed to hit enter didn't see a button there okay so it's generated an outline those are all pretty good headings let's continue it's creating a presentation for us so whereas the last one was giving us bullet points this one is really really smashing us with sentences instead. We can see down the bottom, I started with a certain number of credits. So here I am on the free version, but it is using credits to produce. So let's have a look. Style wise, this looks like it's generating AI images, but they're not completely off topic. The content is really good. Only downside being that this is not really a presentation as such, certainly if I was presenting, I wouldn't be getting up with these big kind of paragraph chunks of text, but it is actually some really good stuff there. I would be paring this down to something that's more presentation style, but I could certainly see using this as maybe one of those slide showy things on LinkedIn. I think it would work pretty well. Definitely need to go through and have a bit of a proofread, make sure that everything it is saying is pretty relevant. Even mentioning Microsoft and SAP, Microsoft definitely has some really good programs and research around their hiring and how they deal with neurodivergent or neurodiverse employees. So some of the other options, we can actually record a narration over this. Uh, up the top here, we've got sharing. We can export to PDF as well. So with this one, with the share, we can share the link. And uh, it actually shares quite nicely as a single heading page preview into LinkedIn. So I can click on the LinkedIn link and provided you've got can play, then it's going to bring someone to this page. They can run through your slides. So a nice little way of doing some promo material that has a bit of a visual to it as well. The last one that we are going to look at is Slides GPT. So they were able to sneak in, get a good URL. And so let's have a look. I want to do a slide deck about autism in the workplace. So again, we are just giving this very vague instruction, a better prompt potentially is going to get us better content. So far though, all of the apps have, have done a reasonable job of producing something. Theme, not quite sure what the difference between these two themes is. We'll just go with the white one. We will hit create deck. They've got the little hamster running in the wheel. It's kind of cute. As the hamster's running, we can see that it is starting to add some bullet points here. Presumably those are slide titles. Kind of looks like it. it. Still looks like it's got a bit to run. So I'm going to pause again. Okay, so our slides have been generated. And one thing I do like is they start off with the warning that uh, the system, like any generative AI, may potentially have incorrect or misleading information. So that's pretty good. Down the bottom here, we have a link to download. And so here's where they're making their money is $2.50 if we want to export this. So not, not obscene. And I mean, if you're only using maybe a couple of times, then this is still cheaper than a lot of the subscription services. We do have link here to be able to share. And let's have a look at the slides though. But we can see on the agenda that they have really gone for a decent amount of bullet points. So this is a little bit of a different model 
rather than with some of the other ones where they'll give you just like a little say five slide presentation this one they've got a whole lot of stuff here and all pretty reasonable sounding headings as we come down further we can see they're picking up images off unsplash as well i suspect that's going to be a popular site it should be interesting to see whether unsplash do lock themselves away from these kind of tools at some stage and so we've got what is autism got importance some of the common challenges and i think this is probably got for something that's actually presentation slides this has probably got a little bit of better balance than some of the others so there was the one where it was just very vague bullet points this one more detailed but not going into whole paragraphs keep them going so again not perfect not something we would necessarily jump straight into a presentation with although this probably is closer than any of the others it's got the pretty solid content reasonable layout it's got the, the commentary so down the bottom it's almost kind of like a little bit of script and i would imagine with all of these tools that if we gave it more detail and certainly could have got a lot more detail i mean i gave it four words autism in the workplace and just from those four words, we got something that is mostly on point and whilst not the most beautiful slides, certainly could get you going. So those are four different tools. I would say the pick of them visually, certainly Tome, although it's not really producing bullet pointed slides. I think we should, we could probably try with some additional information in the prompts to try and get it to be more of a presentation style if we wanted. So presentation wise, I think Tome probably the best. Content wise, yes, but not how we want it unless we fiddle a little bit more with the prompts. Slides GPT though, I think also looks pretty good. I guess downside, although with all of these at some stage, if you're using them a lot, you probably will need to pay and you probably get reasonable value out of that back here gpt ppt wasn't quite there and same with slides ai but both quite reasonable options to have a go of if you've tried any other generative ai tools that produce slides and you've found them better than the ones we've looked at today definitely put a comment down tell people about the ones that you have found to be good thanks for watching i'll be back soon with more videos on ai research stats and random stuff